Hello friends, welcome to the video number 34 for the Visual Basic for, uh, Visual Basic for Applications in Excel series. And when in this video we're going to be seeing how to um, open a different workbook and then copy information from it into our current workbook. Um, well, basically here what you can see is that um, I have a folder. Inside of this folder, I'm going to have my uh, workbook with the macros. And I need to have the other one where I'm going to be getting information from. So it's important if you want to follow along with this video, just uh, make sure that you have both on the same uh, folder. And we're going to see why in a little bit. Uh, and well, this one, this sales report is one that we have been using in different um, videos before. Uh, if you wanna, want to use this one, you can just come here to File, New, and look for this sales report. If you don't have it in here, just look for it. And well, hopefully you're going to find it. Just open it and, and click Create, and you should be getting a file like this. So this is what I'm going to be using as an example. Uh, so here, for example, in column B, we have the customer. We're going to be working with this Anton uh, customer. I'm going to close it. And so let's go to our file with our macro. And let's go to Visual Basic. You can press Alt F11 to come to come to the to the Visual Basic editor, and well, I'm basically using one example that I have been using in previous videos. Just added a little bit more uh, of code, so we're gonna be following along. Um, let's just do a step by step, just to, to follow it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna. Just give me one second because my keyboard, I just need to press the function key to make uh, use of the F8. If I just press F8, it's actually the volume up. So it's a little bit of annoying for me, but well, that's the way my keyboard is. Uh, okay, so function F8. And let's just do a step by step. So I'm going to call this open sales report and I'm going to be passing between these two this file found. Uh, Here I have the directory, that's why it is important to have it to have it on the same directory because I am using this workbook.path. And so then I'm going to continue just with the sales report uh, name of the file. And here I'm gonna concatenate both the directory file and the file name to get the name and address. Everything complete. You can see it there, everything complete. Um, so that's why it is important that you have it on the same uh, folder. Now here I'm going to check if the file exists in that directory. So I know that it, it exists. Uh, so I'm going to set the file found to true. And then, well, this is the instruction that is actually going to open the file is workbooks. Remember, it's like in plural, dot open, name and address. This name and address, again, is my variable that I created here. And by concatenating these other two variables or the information in these two variables. So I'm going to open this workbook. There it is. You can see it's open in here. Now I'm going to call this other subroutine, the copy info, and I'm going to pass the file name. So here basically I'm just going to be looping through all this information uh, until I found uh, I found an empty string in column B. And well, if I find that, that uh, the information in column B is Anton, then we are going to make the copy and paste um, so we know that we have one on row number two. So the first one is not. 
But in the second one, I have an Anton value right there. So this is uh, to copy the range of sales uh, from the sales report file. So here I'm going to select from A and wherever I is right now is 2 to F. So we're going to be copying up to here. I mean, it's basically everything, right? Um, so again, now you can see we have this uh, little this ant marching right here. So it means that it's already in copy mode. It's gonna, it's ready right now to paste. So now we're going to activate the other book, which I name it report. So I need to activate that workbook. Now I am back on my, you can see on the top says the report file. And we're going to select the A1. And now we're going to make the paste in the active sheet. We're going to paste the information. There it is. Uh, and then we're going to increment one to the J. And then we're going to go back to the other book to continue searching. So that's why we're doing right here workbooks, file name dot activate. Remember this workbooks, remember to put this S at the end. It's like plural. If you just use workbook, I did it several times. Uh, well, just you are just going to get an error. Uh, so I learned this the hard way. So remember to put workbooks, right? A file name whatever it is, and then dot, dot activate. So we go back, and then we continue searching for that Anton value. Now you can see here it's taking me, uh, well, a little bit long time. So I can see here that the next one is gonna be on row number 21. Right now I'm on row number 10. So what we're gonna do here is just to put a stop. To, do, to put a stop, you just need to come to this gray bar on the side where this uh, yellow arrow is. And inside of the if, I'm, I'm just gonna uh, give a click in this in this uh, row where it says range and dot copy. Just click and you can see that line is selected. You have this uh, red or reddish um, circle. That means that it is a stop. So whenever we reach this line, is gonna stop before executing. Uh, so I can press right now, for example, the F5, or just click here this uh, play button. So now it arrived all the way to line 21, and it's telling me that it found another one. So we we'll click again. Now it went to line 110, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna remove this one. We have already seen how this works. I'm gonna remove this stop just by clicking again, and I'm gonna put a stop here at the end of the subroutine. So I'm gonna continue everything in this subroutine. So there it is. And now we can we can continue stepping through the code with F8. We go back to the other subroutine. Uh, we're going to activate the workbook and then we're going to close it. Uh, we don't need it anymore. So it's closed. We finish the subroutine. File found is equals to what? To true, right? We make it here true. So we end this if and we end our program. So now Another few things to cover here. I'm going to remove these rows. Um, okay, let's go here. And if I place here, for example, a different name, here again, I'm looking for a sales report.xlsx. So here is going to tell me, okay, I cannot find it, this sales report, because right now I have a sales report one. 
So it's going to display this message telling me, okay, the file doesn't exist. Please verify the address and file name. And file found uh, remains false. We end the if and the subroutine go back to the previous one. So as it is false, it's going to just exit the subroutine. Okay. Now another thing. Let's Um, what else I wanted to show you? Um, well, okay, I think the, the only other thing that I wanted to show you is if you just run this program as it is, you're going to see this flickering. It's kind of annoying to see that. So we're going to see, I'm going to show you right now how to solve this problem. And where I'm gonna be making a new video actually the next video is gonna be how to to do this that I'm going to show you right now uh, it's gonna be specific for that but well if you are following along I just don't want to let you hanging like that so just add these two lines uh, for example at the beginning of the of, of your program just put this application screen updating equals to false remember this dot operator application dot screen updating and then automatically it's gonna give you both uh, possibilities it can be true or false so just make that false at the beginning of your program and then just remember to make it true again so this is gonna make it disappear as you can see it's just static you don't see that flickering anymore and well probably you also notice that the execution of the program is much faster right um, so you get two benefits with just one a single uh, instruction well two lines make it false then make it true and well another just but probably just one other tip Workbook. Dot. When you put that dot operator, you should be seeing this uh, drop down menu showing you this uh, all these options. If you do a workbook, you're not going to be seeing anything. Uh, so that's a clue or can be a clue for you that you missed something. So books dot and then you, you see this IntelliSense. Uh, that means that you got the correct uh, word or keyword. OK. So well, I think that's basically it for this video. Actually, that this was more about again just how to open a different workbook, how to look through it, uh, find some information, copy and paste it into my new workbook, then close it again. Just don't go uh, on and leave your workbooks open. Remember to close them. And well, again, we're gonna be seeing this in the next video. But if you make it this far in the video, 13 minutes. Oh my God. Um, so well now you know how to remove that flickering and make it nice and smooth right like that and much faster and well that's it for this video a little bit long but well I hope that as always you find it very useful and well please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share and like the video and well as always thanks all of you for watching and I hope to see you on video 35.